I think it begs the question as to why my presentation flippers not on, as to why we're here today and why we're here gathered for Future M. I think it's because we want to share, we want to learn, we want to find out what's next in marketing because we care whether we're with brands or whether we're with agencies or whether we're technology companies who try to improve users' lives. And so if we think about the um, topic of our panel, which is mobile marketing frontiers, mobile marketing has traditionally been dominated by mobile display advertising, companies like AdMob, which Google acquired, and Quattro, which Apple acquired to build iAd. And so I guess it's worth talking a little bit about the broader display advertising market to, uh, to kick this off. So the display advertising industry in the US made $24 billion last year. And uh, it's projected to grow about 50 to 60% conservatively next year. So it's a booming business. There are about 200 companies in it. They do a ton of crunching. Uh, there's probably 100,000 different servers. Tons of data is being processed. Five trillion ad impressions are going to get delivered this year. And those impressions are going to touch 215 million people in the US about 16 billion times per day. It's kind of a big deal. So it begs the question, what have we accomplished with all this? And um, I'm, not sure it's, I'm not sure it's that great. Uh, if you look at the Seth Godin quote, there seems to be a war going on between marketers and consumers. Uh, we're trying to get people to be more excited about advertising, but the truth is advertising doesn't work that well. How many of you use ad-supported sites or applications? The other of you only pay for content? <laughs> You're just too tired to raise your hand. So, so here's a simple question. How many of you can give me an example of an application or a website where integrating an ad network improved user experience? Anybody? Well, ask myself the same question. Oh, Walter. Video games. Video games. Yeah. It actually improved user experience. Didn't Microsoft shut down Massive? <laughs> hmm. So I guess the thing that improved user experience didn't actually work. That's, uh, that's, that's not good. But, but the fact of the matter is bad user experience, it's a negative externality on the entire industry. right? Because it ultimately hurts advertisers, because people are not engaged. And it hurts publishers and app developers and site owners, because the experience that people get when they go on them sucks. And in fact, the data is there to prove it. In a matter of about four years, click-through rates, which is an indication of engagement and how much people care about advertising, have been halved. And Facebook's, by the way, a half of that. They're 0.05%. And Facebook runs about a third of all display advertising uh, in the world right now, I mean, in, in the US. So it's actually a pretty, a pretty sorry state of affairs. And um, I think we all need to challenge ourselves to actually make marketing valuable to people. And I'm very hopeful we can, especially in mobile, because mobile is the innovation frontier. We have more data. It's a personal device. It's always with us. We can communicate with us. We have location information. And uh, really, uh, that's why we're here today. We're here to talk about ways that we as an industry can innovate to actually um, deliver on what we've told people for a long time, which is that ads are content. Well, right now, they're bad content. And let's figure out whether it's for ads or for other mechanisms where we can deliver value to consumers.